you know, fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangarooquarteraustralia.com. Now, I'm just going to do a quick video in relation to whether Bruce Lerman and Lisa Wilkinson will be happy with the findings of the ACT inquiry into the police corruption, police cover-up of the alleged rape of Brittany Higgins. Now, I'll start off with Bruce Lerman. There's one key aspect that he's been pushing and Murdoch Media have been pushing on his behalf that the ACT police didn't want to charge him. Well, that's a lie. It's only the investigating officers that didn't want to charge him. They had a review, Red Team Assessment, which is uh, other police officers who reviewed the evidence, and they recommended that uh, Bruce Lemon should be charged. And I remember the uh, commissioner of the ACT inquiry uh, asking, is anyone challenging the fact of whether Bruce Lemon should be charged or not? And no one put their hand up. So the barristers representing the ACT police, they weren't going to challenge that fact. Obviously, the Director of Public Prosecutions wasn't going to challenge that fact. Uh, Bruce Lehman's lawyer, Steve Wybrow, he gave evidence at the ACT inquiry and he had his own barrister there and he didn't challenge that fact either. So no one was going to challenge the fact of whether Bruce Lehman should have been charged for the alleged rape of Brittany Higgins. So that means the ACT inquiry, unless they're going to overturn everyone, uh, is going to hand down a finding saying, well, it wasn't challenged whether Bruce Lehman should have been charged or not. So this inquiry uh, makes a finding that he should have been charged. And so that's going to undermine Bruce Lerman's attack on the ACT uh, Director of Public Prosecution, Shane Drumgold. Bruce Lerman has been blaming him, saying he ruined his life, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, that's the total lie by Bruce Lerman, and he knows it. Uh, I've published a video on the Red Team assessment by the Federal Police, the ACT Police, same thing, and where they recommended criminal charges against Bruce Lerman. So that big uh, lie that's been spread by the media is going to come unstuck, I believe, at the, when the report from the ACT inquiry is published. Well, it's going to be handed to the ACT government on the 31st of July. That's the due date, anyhow, unless they ask for an extension. And I expect once it's published at some stage, whether it's the 31st of July or after, I expect the report will say, well, no one's challenged the fact of whether Bruce Lemon should have been charged or not. So it's not for the inquiry to overturn it. Now, in relation to Lisa Wilkinson, she actually made submissions to the ACT inquiry as well. She was attacking the Director of Public Prosecution, Shane Drumgold, on the basis that, uh, well, she gave that infamous speech at the Logies Award, which led to the uh, rape trial being adjourned for three months, being stayed for three months, or four months it was. It was meant to go forward in June or July 2021. It wasn't until, I think, October 2021 it actually uh, started. And that's because uh, Lisa Wilkinson gave an infamous speech at the Logies Award, which potentially interfered in Bruce Lemon getting a fair trial. So the judge uh, stayed the matter for three months. Now, Lisa Wilkinson had Sue Chris Anthony there for the three, four days, or I think it might have been four and a half days, uh, making submissions. Well, she didn't make submissions for the whole amount of time, but she was there for the four and a half days. So it would have cost Lisa Wilkinson something like 40, 50 grand or more to have Sue Chris Anthony, who's a barrister from Sydney, to be there. And the submissions that she made was that, in effect, that Shane Drumgold, they had a meeting with Lisa Wilkinson, Isha Smithies, which is Network 10's uh, senior lawyer. They had a meeting via Zoom. And uh, Lisa Wilkinson, this was before the Logie Award. She was going to be potentially a witness in the trial. And uh, Lisa Wilkinson said, said to uh, Shane Drumgold, look, I might win the award at the Logie Awards. I've got a speech. Do you mind, uh, in effect, proofreading it? And she started reading it out. Shane Drumgold said, look, that's not my job. And Lisa Wilkinson went ahead with the speech. She ended up winning the award. She went ahead with the speech and, and made the rape trial be adjourned or stayed for three months. And it's, in effect, Lisa Wilkinson's argument that uh, Shane Drumgold should have uh, proofread her speech. But prior to that, Lisa Wilkinson was telling others on social media not to name Bruce Lerman, could potentially put the trial at risk. So she's a media person. She's been in media 30, 40 years. She knows better. If the matter's set down for trial, shut your mouth. And she was a witness in the matter, which is even more reason she should have shut her mouth. And Tasha Smithies, the senior lawyer from Channel 10, that's part of her job description, knowing and understanding sub judice law when the matter's before the court, shut your mouth. Um, she should have advised Lisa Wilkinson to shut her mouth. She should have got up there, accepted the award, said thank you and got off. And I expect the inquiry to either find, one, that Shane Drumgold had no obligation to uh, proofread Lind, uh, Lisa Wilkinson's speech, 
Or two, they might find, well, in hindsight, he should have uh, advised her not to give a speech. But uh, the worst case scenario or the best case scenario for Lisa Wilkinson, I think, is that uh, the inquiry will have to find that uh, it was really Lisa Wilkinson's and Channel 10's uh, duty. Uh, Tasha Smith, he's the head lawyer for Channel 10. It was their duty to advise Lisa Wilkinson not to uh, give a speech and or to proofread her speech. Now, I should put on the record, I've been critical of Lisa Wilkinson, but a lot of the criticism of Lisa Wilkinson of late is coming from Murdoch Press, and it's unjustified. It's just total dribble coming from them, and they're attacking her because they hate, uh, or they're attacking uh, Brittany Higgins, and Lisa Wilkinson obviously supported Brittany Higgins, and they're attacking Brittany Higgins because she's a threat to their cash cow, the Liberal Party. Murdoch Press has made hundreds of millions of dollars out of the Liberal Party, so they're protecting that and attacking uh, Brittany Higgins and anyone who supports Brittany Higgins, like Lisa Wilkinson. So uh, a lot of the criticism is unjustified, but some of it is justified. Lisa Wilkinson just, just bite the bullet. Hey, I stuffed up. End of story. Move forward. Now, I watched the ACT inquiry very closely. I watched probably 98% of it. There was a couple of times it went down, so I missed a little bit. Other than that, uh, based on what I've watched, there's going to be some of the findings of the ACT inquiry. Now, if you want to read more about uh, Bruce Lerman and Lisa Wilkinson in relation to what I've written about them, you can go to my website and you can uh, put their names in the search box on the top right-hand corner. Other than that, uh, Kangaroo Court of Australia is independent media. I publish a website, YouTube channel, Facebook page and Twitter account, and I'm reliant on donations to keep on publishing. And I'm 100% crowdfunded by readers of my website and viewers of my YouTube channel. So please support my Patreon account and uh, please share this video on Facebook and Twitter, etc. Thank you for your time and have a good day.